Something that I don't like to see on websites is buttons that are different sizes. And what I mean by that is buttons that are different sizes right next to each other. For some reason, it just gets on my nerves. And I actually have loads of clients like this. They say, Sam, change that button size. And so after a few of them said that, and this was years ago, but after a few of them said that, I was like, okay, I need a code that makes buttons the same width. And so I've been using this code for years now. And with the advent of Fluid Engine, it kind of done away with the need for this because obviously you have full control over the width of the buttons. But I still use uh, Squarespace's classic editor quite a lot because it has its advantages and it's still solid for building websites. So what I wanna show you in this tutorial is how to make classic engine buttons the same width. Side note, I'm gonna go off on a tangent when I go over onto the screen because the code that we use actually does affect the fluid engine blocks as well. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna make the width of your button the same across fluid engine and across classic editor as well. So we're on a website here and you can see we've got two buttons next to each other. Because these are fluid engine buttons, we can have them the exact same width. We can do that without code. But then on a classic editor section, we have two buttons next to each other. We can't resize these to be the same width consistently. So what I could do on a classic editor section would be add a spacer and then manually change the width. But you can't quite get it right. What we want to do is be precise. So what I'm going to show you now is how to change the width to set the same width for every button across the site. To do that, we go into Website, and then we go down to Website Tools, and then we go into Custom CSS. I'm going to paste the code in now. And what that does is it says all small button blocks, medium button blocks, and large button blocks have a width of 120 pixels. So here, you can see these have the same width. Now this is squash the text. So what I wanna do is probably make it a little bit wider. Let's say 160. And that's still overlapped, so let's do 180. And then mm, maybe a little bit more. Let's just make it 200. Okay, both are the exact same width. Because I personally feel like smaller buttons next to larger buttons look weird. I prefer them to be the same width. Some people don't, some people do, it's personal preference. But if you do, what you want to do is specify this code here. Maybe you only want to do it for small buttons or medium buttons. In which case, what we do is we take this, we'd copy it and paste it, and we'd say, okay, this is only for small. And this is for um, medium and then we take that and we say this is for large so let's just take large out of here and then we say large is 250 so you can specify a specific pixel width for small medium and large it doesn't have to be all together also bear in mind this will affect a fluid engine buttons as well so what it looks like is um, Squarespace block button element large affects, I think this is a secondary. So let me double check. That's a secondary block. This is a primary, which is affected by medium. This actually makes no sense. So maybe Squarespace need to check that. But medium looks like it affects primary. Large looks like it affects secondary. And let's just make this small one here and add a tertiary button and let's see if that's correct so we'll change this to tertiary yep okay so this is a nice visual representation so small is small on classic editor but on fluid engine it's the tertiary button block medium is medium on classic editor but primary as you can see here it's primary on fluid engine and large is large on classic editor and secondary as shown here in fluid engine doesn't make any sense but that is, <laughs> that is how it works so hopefully that all makes sense that is how you make your buttons the same width on both classic editor and fluid engine with code hopefully you found it useful if you did please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe 
And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, then you can get in touch using the links in the description.